Financial firms deemed too big to fail played a major role in the recent credit crunch, bringing on the worst recession this country has seen since the Great Depression. So what should be done to ensure that this kind of collapse never happens again? Joining us to discuss this is Moore Zuckerman, chairman of Boston Properties and chairman and editor-in-chief of U.S. News and World Report. Uh, Moore, thanks for coming on the, on the show. You wrote an op-ed piece today in the Wall Street Journal uh, talking about this. What do you think of the current state of financial regulatory reform? We've got bills out there from uh, Senator J Dodd from Barney Frank. Uh, are, do they do enough? Well, uh, nobody knows which bill is going to get through. Do they do enough? I do think we have to regulate differently uh, the too big to fail firms. The notion was somehow or other because they were large and diversified and had better management and more uh, loans out that uh, they were safer. It turns out they were not. The Basel II uh, financial requirements allowed these big firms to have less than 2% of their assets in equity, so they actually had a benefit over smaller firms, unwise in this environment. So I think we've got to make sure that there is a less leverage and more equity in these major banks. What is more, we have to make sure that there's a way of looking into these banks on an ongoing basis and making sure that they do not have too much uh, debt, they do not have bad equity loans. They do not have bad loans, and you, there will be a, an ability to restrict their activities or force them to uh, contract their activities or to actually force the firms to be sold. So you're going to have to have some kind of systemic regulation for those banks that are too big to fail. We found out that size does not always mean safety. So, you, so you're saying, on the one hand, regulators should be able to say, uh, decide which businesses they're allowed to be in or change which businesses they're allowed to be in in order to control their size. On the other hand, you say that maybe they should pay a price uh, for their size. I wonder on, on, on that uh, aspect of it, how much do you think they should be made to pay? What should be done with the money? I mean, how would that work? Well, when I say pay a price, in other words, they have to have a, a, a larger ratio of equity uh, in relation to their debt. Right now, they were way too over leveraged. The banks were over leveraged. The major banks were over leveraged. In particular, if you only have 2% equity, you're talking about over leveraging by definition. So that's going to have to change. Second place, uh, in order to make sure that these banks, we don't want to have to choose, in other words, between a bailout and a major economic catastrophe. Okay? So we've got to make sure that we have an ongoing way of looking at these banks, looking at their equity makeup, looking at their liquidity, looking at the kinds of loans they're making, the kinds of leverage they have, and having some kind of regulatory control over it. Because we should not be in a position again where these huge banks can bring the entire financial world to a halt, and that has an enormous effect on the economy. In your op-ed piece, you suggest that the Fed maybe should maintain its role yes. as the chief regulator there. Why? Yes. Since the Fed obviously was there and overlooked uh, the problems as they grew to result in this major crisis? Look, without question, the Fed was not perfect, okay? Uh, they allowed interest rates to be too low for too long in 2003 and 2004 when you had 1% federal funds rate. They did not understand the securitization. They did not understand the derivatives and all of that. But every big bank got involved in too much securitization and every big bank got into the derivatives. Everybody was pursuing the same, uh, what turned out to be a dream. So uh, the fact is, though, that when it came to saving the financial system, System. It was the Federal Reserve that did brilliant work under Bernanke. I mean, absolutely brilliant work. They found ways to bring liquidity to the system, which was virtually on the, on the edge of being totally frozen, which would have been an economic catastrophe. They understand these banks a lot more. They know them with much greater intimacy. They understand the financial world. They have been independent, by and large. Uh, they're the best institution, in my judgment, by far. It would be a catastrophe for this country if we lost the, the independence and control of the Federal Reserve of our monetary policy.